Okay, um, uh, welcome back. I was going to go over the pacemaker of the heart, aka uh, sinoatrial node and the atrial ventricular node. But first, so Wardna, or aka Andrew, doesn't spend the whole time looking at the background. It's not a Christmas tree. It is a Christmas moose. My moose is still out that says Merry Christmas, but it's just a ficus tree. And this is my office. Um, can't really see what you're seeing. Oh, that's me. Um, that's my dog, Lightning. Woohoo! Hee hee! Hey, this is my baby. My baby. Oh, yeah. Okay. And um, let's see. Then there's this side of the couch. Oh, there's this side of the office, which has a bookcase. And that's Isaac and Zoe's desk over there which is red chair and black chair. And that's my refrigerator in there, the kitchen. Um, and then that's outside my house. There's the pool all closed for the winter. And there's some neighbor kids playing on the basketball hoop because it's really tall. Okay, so now let's get to work. There's your tour, Andrew. Um, so to do move that over so you don't have to have me in the whole picture. And here is an image from your textbook. It's pretty good. The heart has um, unique fibers that are um, they, they're what's called autorhythmic, A-U-T-O, um, uh, rhythmic. And that means that they can self-stimulate uh, and they keep a rhythm. Um, a tempo, and the one that actually is the pacemaker for the heart is a group of these autorhythmic cells right here on the inside of the right atria, and it's called the SA node or the sinal. Uh, did I say SA node? Um, uh, wait a second. Uh, this is the atrial ventricular node, and this is, yeah, the SA node, the sinal atrial node. Uh, or sinus, so it's the SA node because it stands for the sinus. And what it does is it actually um, creates the electric signal that then, from this point forward, let's go all the way down down there, it spreads it across the top half of the heart down, and that's what this is showing you right here. By the time it hits this second autorhythmic cluster of cells, and this is called the AV node, atrial because it's in the atrial and ventricle, ventricular area. So two notes, the sinal atria in a sinus, this is inside, this is on the surface, in between the two chambers. Um, it will stimulate these autorhythmic cells, but there is a tenth of a second difference. So, oh, where am I? Point one second delay. And that's just enough time for your atria to empty. So now this guy will send the signal down um, um, special uh, cells. These are called his, and then this is the left and the right branch. And they end at perginky fibers, or um, also uh, per, it's K-I-N-J-E. Uh, so the J can also be hinny. Uh, um, and these guys then continue the stimulus or contraction around. So it's almost like a funnel. This guy gets kicked off. You have that delay. It gets sent down to these fibers, the apex of the heart. And then the heart muscles contract from the bottom up, shooting this out. Now notice that delay is critical that we don't have this pushing before these close. So you can see they're getting closer together, closer, boom, close, and now this contracts. And it corresponds, I like how your book did it, with the normal beep, 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 beep that you see at the hospital. These electrical signals actually go right through your body tissues and can be picked up on the outside of your chest. Um, uh, you know that as an ECG, electrocardiogram, um, and uh, you put sensors and they can... Uh, pick up these actual electrical uh, stimulations. Now, this sinal atrial node, your book says it's controlled by two other nerves and hormones. Um, and uh, it doesn't go into great detail right away, but we'll get there. One thing I did want to show you, remember um, we looked at cardiac muscle. And so you have the sinal atrial node and the atrial ventricular node 
But the reason they can perpetuate the signal throughout the heart is because the cardiac muscle has these intercalated discs, right? And these are what help transport the electrical signal from uh, cell to cell. This is your nuclei. And we still have actin and myosin. All, all muscle cells have the actin and myosin um, sarcomeres. But the way they form fits function, these intercalated discs help transmit the electrical signals uh, through all the heart muscle. Now, this is not in your book, but this sinus or sinal atrial node, so this is the SA node, um, and the atrial ventricular is in this one, it's further down. But the hormones that the sinal atrial node is uh, sensitive to is adrenaline. Um, adrenaline comes from your kidneys. Uh, also, notice there is um, carotid, in your carotid artery, sinuses, that um, sense blood pressure and send signals to a region of your brain we're going to talk about. It's called the pons. This whole region here is the medulla. So this is medullary collier vascular center. The medulla is responsible for heart rate and pons for breathing. So um, you don't need to know much here, but the nerves, we have something called a vagus nerve, um, helps control the sinal atrial node, and adrenaline in the blood helps control the sinal atrial node. So I think uh, I'll be signing off for now. Study up. Okie dokie. Uh, 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 uh. Okay, great. I can't stop the recording. We could go on forever like this. Let me try this. Huh. I want to stop the recording. This computer has just been acting funny all day long. Recording. Come up here. Recording. Come up here. Hmm. Well, you can stop watching. It could take me hours to end this thing. Stop. Okay. What am I doing? Ooh, smaller. Mm, come here. Stop. Stop. Pause. Right click. Nothing. 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 Oh, maybe I need to go here. Please.